Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you a game between Alexander Lehin and Volta Mitchell. This game was played in Bern in 1925. Bern is the capital city of Switzerland. And who is Volta Mitchell? Volta Mitchell was Swiss champion. Let's have a look at the game. Alexander Lehin had white pieces and he started with d4. Walter Mitchell played knight to f6, c4, e6, knight to c3, d5, queen's gambit, bishop to g5, pinning the knight, knight from b to d7, e3, bishop to e7, knight to f3, c6, bishop to d3. This is the mine line. And both players castle at king's side. a6, intending b5. A4 preventing B5, H6 attacking the bishop to H4, D takes on C4, bishop takes on C4, knight to D5, white to move. To take on E7 or to play bishop to G3? Lehin played bishop to G3. Black to move. If you don't know what to do, Push the pawn. A5. Well, knight from 7 to f6 comes to mind. But Mitchell avoided this move because of knight to e5. And the one line goes like this. Knight takes on c3, b takes on c3, knight to e4, queen to c2, knight takes on g3, h takes on g3, and white is slightly better. In the game we have a5, queen to e2, knight to b4, rook from a to d1, white pieces are better placed. Knight to f6, knight to e5, queen to b6, e4, rook to d8, bishop to f4, bishop to d7, and now bishop to d2, going for a little tactic, allowing black to win the pawn. Queen to c7, if queen takes on d4, knight takes on d7, knight takes on d7, bishop takes on h6, discovered attack on the queen. But after queen to e5, black is not much worse off. Mitchell played queen to c7, f4, bishop to e8, and now f5. Black to move. What is the best move for black in this position? What would you do? Mitchell captured the pawn on f5. Well, better was rook takes on d4. And f takes on e6 doesn't work because of queen takes on e5. We have e takes on f5, rook takes pawn on f5, black to move. Mitchell was lacking confidence. He played bishop to f8. The best move was rook takes on d4. And after rook from d to f1, bishop to d6. And if now exchange sacrifice, bishop takes on e5. And black is fighting back. Interesting, isn't it? Instead of the best move, bishop to f8, rook from d to f1, exchange sacrifices on the menu, 
Rook to d6, protecting the knight on f6. Knight to g4. Mitchell considered knight takes knight. Instead, he played rook to d7. Would I like knight takes on g4 because of queen takes on g4. And white pieces look too threatening. But black is not without a chance. It was black's best chance. One line goes like this. Rook takes on d4. Bishop takes on f7. This is what Mitchell was afraid of. Bishop takes on f7. Rook takes on f7. Queen takes rook. Rook takes queen. King takes rook. Bishop to e3. It is better, but black can put a lot of white from this position. Mitchell preferred to keep his queen, so he played rook to d7, defending f7 square, but there is another problem. Now comes the exchange sacrifice. Pawn takes rook. White played a move and black resigned. The move is... Knight takes on f6. Black resigned in view of this continuation. King to h8. Queen to g4. Bishop to g7. Bishop takes on h6. Bishop takes on f6. Rook takes bishop. And there is no sensible way to prevent queen to g7. Mate. Not so perfect attack. Do you agree? What do you think of this game? And that is all. Hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.